Welcome to Wraith, Virtual Medical Training Simulator. In this simulation we will be performing a total knee replacement surgery. Grasp the patient's left ankle, preferably with your left hand. Good, now manipulate the leg to reposition the knee into 90 degrees of flexion. Select the scalpel from the Mayo stand to your left. Good, you will see a linear highlight on the knee showing the optimal path for the skin incision. Select the scalpel from the Mayo stand to your left. Use the scalpel to make the incision start. You may probe the margins of the incision with your finger. When you are ready, use the retractor on the Mayo stand to expose the fascia surrounding the joint capsule. Select the scalpel from the Mayo stand. Now make an incision in the fascia. Use the highlighter. This incision begin. Grasp the patient's left ankle, preferably with your left hand. Perfect. Now move the ankle to position the knee. Grasp the lateral margin of the full incision. Preferably with your right hand. Pull the incision margin laterally opening the incision. You must grasp and hold the lateral patella dislocation to continue. Good. Now manipulate the leg to reposition the knee into 90 degrees. The first pin is installed 4 finger widths below the incision site. Grab the pin driver. For this simulation the pin driver will have the necessary pin already loaded on the pin driver. Pull trigger to install the anchor pin and secure the tibial array to the anterior tibial cortex. Select the tibial target array already mounted to the universal 2 pin fixation block. Place it over the anchor pin you previously installed on the tibia. Grab the pin driver. Pull trigger to install the anchor pin and secure the tibial array to the anterior tibia. Now select the femoral target array already mounted to the eye block femoral cutting guide robot fixation base. Place along the medial aspect of the distal femur. The fixation base clamp will help find the proper anchor placement. Two anchor pins are required to anchor the fixation base. Grab the pin driver. Pull trigger to install the first anchor pin, securing the femoral array. Grab the pin drive. Pull trigger to install the second anchor pin. Select the nano block. The nano block will guide the tibial resection. Position the nano block over the tibial tuberosity. The target array assists in placement. Three anchor pins are required to anchor the nano block. Grab the pin driver. Grab the bone saw to resect the tibial plateau. Place the blade into the resection guide on the nano block to resect the tibial plateau. The nano block can now be removed. Grab the pin driver to remove the anchor pins from the nano block. Remove first anchor pin. Remove the second anchor. Remove the final. Grab the nano block. Return it to the Mayo stand. Select the balance bot. Install by inserting the robotic paddles into the joint space on the resected tibia. 
grasp the ankle and manipulate the leg into full extension and maneuver the leg through a complete range of motion to get quantitative data on the knee. You may repeat as needed for complete data acquisition. When complete data acquisition is achieved, return the knee to 90 degrees of flexion on the surgical table. Grab the balance bot. Return it to the Mayo stand. Grab the eye block. The eye block guides the femoral re- Attach the eye block to the femoral fixation base near the femoral target array. Observe the eye block automatically adjust to create the distal cut. Grab the bone saw. Place the blade into the resection guide to make the distal cut. The eye block will now adjust trajectory. Now use the bone saw to make the anterior cut. Allow the eye block to adjust trajectory. Now make the posterior cut. The eye block is now ready for the anterior chamfer cut. You may now make the final posterior chamfer cut to complete the femoral resection. Grab the eye block and return it to the Mayo stand. Grab the tibial impactor and mallet from the Mayo stand. Hold the tibial impactor in place. Now strike the impactor strike pad with the mallet to impact the tibial tray into the tibial plateau. Pick up the femoral shell. Approximately place the femoral shell onto the prepared distal femur. Grab the femoral impactor and mallet from the Mayo stand. Place the impactor on the femoral shell and hold in. Now strike the impactor strike pad with the mallet to seat the femoral shell. Select the poly inlay. Insert the poly in lane to the tibial base. Now run the final range of motion test. Return the knee to 90 degrees of flexion on the surgical table. Congratulations, you have earned the total knee badge.